Today we are on a set and we are taking photos in a dark and moody style, which you know I really love. And today I have some nice and juicy blood oranges set here. I have everything set up and I will walk you through all the setup, why I did some things. Uh, first, let me just tell you that I have a light here uh, just so you can see me, but I will turn it off to take the photos and to show you how the light works. My name is Anya and I am here to teach you some tips and tricks about food photography. So let's just dive right into it. Okay, so I have some oranges here. I have a orange juicer. Um, I have a bottle of freshly squeezed orange juice and I've made a nice, nice composition. In terms of how to modify light, I will be using natural light, which is coming from this window here. And in order to get that really nice stream of light only to, on this part of the image, which you will see in just a second, um, it will, I want the light to hit that front part of this basket here where I have this blood orange cut in half. So I have used uh, a few dif different techniques to block the light. First is to use these kinds of foam boards. And these are really super light. Uh, I have these large ones. You can also get smaller ones. I just really like using the large ones because I shoot a lot of um, large scenes. Okay. And we have a curtain here. You could also use two foam boards or a cardboard or something that's black and it, that's not transparent. So I have a blackout curtain and I only have like maybe 10 or 15 centimeters of a uh, window that's actually on uh, the light that's actually coming to my scene. So for just a second, I will turn off the light so you won't be able to see me. Um, so now you can approximately see how the setup here is um, actually lit. So how I've set up these two modifiers is uh, I've placed this one far in the back so it allows some light to come to that front part of the basket where the focus will be and it also allows the back part of the photo to be pretty dark but not too dark so you still see some detail you st still st see the store you see the bottle you see the oranges and so on and same here, just enough so that all of these oranges or mandarins that are in the front and the leaves and the textile still has some texture, it still has some brightness and highlights to it. You don't want everything in, uh, in the edges of the frames to be really dark, you still want some of that highlights. Um, so yeah, uh, my trick for doing such like simple smaller scenes is to place the main subject which is here the, the, the this basket and the, the focus will be like we said on this orange here like somewhat uh, in the center of this basket should somewhere somewhat be aligned with the back foam board um, so it's not in the front because then the the, the oranges in the back of the basket would be too bright and it would kind of um, be too distracting. So yeah, I want the light to only be hit, uh, hitting the, like, uh, the focal part of the image. Everything else will be slightly darker. Uh, I also have props that are really dark. I have a dark basket here. I have a dark plate. I have dark wooden backdrop here and one in the back. I also have a wooden uh, chopboard. Uh, so all of my props are a bit on the darker side, if not really dark. Um, if I would use something very bright or something very colorful, they, they could compete with my main subjects, which are the oranges. 
uh, and therefore I chose everything dark. I also have some dark linen here. On the other side I have a foam board as well. Uh, I actually took some two photos. One is with this foam board here. I don't know if you can see it. I will just turn it around a little bit. So this is a foam board on a stand. So you could try and position it in different ways. I just uh, found that maybe in this position it would be, it would the shadows would look the best. But I also took one photo um, without the foam board. Uh, in this case, the color of the cupboard there in the back uh, is slightly reflecting because it's white which I actually also like. So we, well, when we will do the editing, we will try and compare these two images and why black foam board is not always necessary. Another tip when you're doing dark and moody photos is if your ceiling is very bright. My ceiling is white, but the whole room is actually very dark because I only have a really small strip of light. I don't see much of a light bouncing on top of the, the oranges uh, from the ceiling. But if you're noticing this, you could also place a foam board or some black curtain or something uh, and like on the top here. So you prevent the light coming from the top as well. As you can see, I'm not using any diffusers today and that's because I want to keep those highlights in the oranges and since it's a cloudy day, a diffuser would really lower those highlights and I wouldn't get that nice specular light on that oranges. So yeah, let's look, let's take a look at the two images that I took. This one was with the black foam board on the right side. And this one was the one without the foam board on the right side. So I really like both of them, but we will try to compare them in the next video when we will um, edit them. In the next video, we will go through the image that we just took and we will take it to Lightroom and edit it. So you can see how I edit dark and moody photos. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also please subscribe so you can uh, see more videos in the future.